Hey guys, it's Kraus and welcome everybody to Surviving Mars. Just sit back, relax and enjoy. If you do enjoy, make sure you smack the like button and leave some nice feedback in the comment section and let me know what you guys think about the game. Also, this video is sponsored by Paradox Interactive, the publishers of this game. So I just want to say thank you so, so much Paradox for helping me out and also allowing me to try this game before release, which is on the 15th of March. So do check out the links in the description, everybody. It's going to be an epic adventure, an amazing journey and hell of a sweet game. I just tried it for 20 minutes just to get the basics and i liked it we might survive today's episode we might die in today's episode but there is no time to waste let the adventure begin so here on the screen we choose a mission sponsor commander profile colony logo and a mystery which i believe is a storyline for this playthrough but let's start up here the mission sponsors pretty much act as a difficulty setting with different starting conditions we have international mars mission which is 20 percent difficulty bonus and end with russia which is 200. so if we start up here we have four starting rockets 30 000 million in funding colonists never gets earth sick recommended for first time players I guess we would, but then again, it might be a little bit boring going like super, super newbish in it. But I am a noob. Let's go something like this. Uh, let me see. We have USA, three rockets, Blue Sun Corporation, two rockets. China is easy as well. Then we have India, which is normal. Europe, normal. Space, uh, space Y uh, or Spacey is normal as well with five rockets. Holy crap. And then we have Church of the New Ark, hard. Only one rocket yikes yikes let's go europe i live in europe let's go europe and then we have the commander profile which is basically like starting traits as well or just some 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 benefits to the whole thing we have inventors we have i've been looking at this by the way and i think the hydro engineer hydro engineer is going to be quite useful because that starts us with a water deposit revealed which might not be too shabby however do we need that in the beginning stages because i don't think we're going to have any people now we're just going to set up for the people so either we go on that or we go on um, hanging gardens what? just amazing no, i'm just kidding well that might be kind of cool but no how many rockets did europe have europe had two rockets so if we would go rocket scientist that's going to give us an extra rocket and that's kind of like the the extra lifeline just in case of emergency if we really screwed this up badly today we will have an extra rocket let's go with like this and the logo straight away don't panic don't panic i guess we're gonna go with don't panic or maybe not let me see brussels sprouts family values mars you one small step curiosity mr handy i like mr handy serenity final you know mr handy why not and then a the mystery i just don't know what to choose over here like we have some easy we have some normal with some hard the saddest aspect of life right now is that science fiction gathers knowledge faster than society gathers wisdom. Isaac Asimov. The Lost War. John F. Kennedy. Wildfire. Bill Gates. I'm gonna go random. What could possibly go wrong? I just don't know what to pick. And let's go next. Here, Victor is our spaceship called. The first spaceship to embark on the journey to, to Mars. And it has some pre-picked stuff on it already. And I've been thinking, the prefab buildings. We have a drone hub, a moisture evaporator, and everybody likes it moist. So let's keep it the moisty. We have a fuel refinery, and then... Hmm, starting generator won't be kind of useful. Let's keep it default on that. But the RC, RCs, we're going to tweak them a little bit. Because we have the rover, which is a transportation, command, central, and repair of drones, which is kind of neat. We have the explorer, which is kind of like an uh, analyzing anomalies on Mars, on the surface. And we have this guy. This guy gathers resources from surface deposits. And I think that's going to be much, much more beneficial in the starting stages than having the Explorer. But I'm not sure. I think we're going to go with... Let's go with that. This might be terribly bad, but hey, it is what it is, right? And let's keep it pretty much default. Like food, not needed because we're not going to have any people in the beginning. And then we need to pick a landing spot uh, for our little, like, spaceship. The thing here is, like, we can have we have a few pre uh, pre-picked uh, locations as you can see here we have arabia alpha xanti but we can pick a ra total random uh, location however we need to be careful because they come with different resources like some have like a big abundance of them some have uh, less of it and also there's there's threats dust devils dust storms meteors and cold waves 
I kind of want to pick out like a, like a custom location, but yet again, let me see here. I kind of want to be somewhere on the equator. <laughs> Do we even call it the equator on Mars? I don't know. Those guys here, Elysium Alpha and Elysium Beta. They have a lot of abundance of everything and also not that much threats. So let's pick... Okay, let's go here. Let's see here. How is that looking? Uh, like zero degrees. If we get closer to those guys... Okay, that is a good spot. Okay, what was that? 170. Zero degrees north, 170 degrees east. Let's do it. Welcome to Mars. Well, thank you, thank you very much. Mission Control Log 1. Everybody, let's read. Everyone at Mission Control is impatient to see the rocket touching down and unloading its precious cargo. Our remotely controlled eyes and hands on the red planet. Dead drones and rovers. Our goal is to secure a foothold for humanity to build the first Martian dome. Yada yada. But until then, we have to make sure the colony has enough construction resources, water, oxygen and power. And everybody, welcome to Mars, where we have been given a designated landing site for the rocket, which I believe is Sector C6. And, uh, well, it is quite the shabby sector, because this only contains this, which is a concrete deposit. And I believe that is a metal deposit, and it's not that much. But uh, don't worry, because we could do, we can either scan more areas around us, you can even queue up, I think it's like four or something. Yeah, queue up four and scan one. But that's gonna take a while. <laughs> yeah, pretty much yes. But we'd also brought those, the orbital probes. We have three of them, and what they do, they deep scan a sector and reveal it straight away. However, we should not waste it, but for showcase purposes, let's scan one and let's do a... Let's do this. We're amazing. We found water, which means... Which pretty much means we can land the Victor 1 on, on this sector. And can we? Let me just see here. If I would pick... Oh, this is going to be amazing. So we have concrete deposit, concrete deposit, and also we have the water over here. And quite a bit of the, the metal as well. One, two, three, four, five deposits just on the surface over here. But can we reach it all? It's kind of cool, like the, the spaceship itself. It kind of looks like an orca from this angle. I'm not sure that's intentional. From this, not so much. From this, quite a bit. But uh, I guess it is a little bit intentional. Can I land? Poop it down? Yeah, 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 yeah. 3, 2, 1, and Houston. We have a touchdown in 10, 9, We have a touchdown. And uh, you know what? This playthrough is gonna consist of a lot of zoomed in shots. I love such seeing stuff move about. It's just intriguing. Look at these little Congo trains of Mr. Handy drones. How amazing isn't that? Yeah, just seeing stuff move about. It's, uh, it's special. Pretty much do that in every game. Okay, everybody. So now as, as, as I thought, we could either take the drones and mine the metal over here, or we just say, hey, you, RC Transport, you go and do it. And hopefully it works. Because if it does, I'm really happy we brought this instead of the Explorer. Especially like in the beginning stages. It's kind of sleek how, how dust and dirt is accumulating on the wheels over here. Does it work though? It, uh, it does. Okay, so that guy is just doing his thing, and that is perfect. What else? We do have a build menu, we have a map overview, we have resupply, and this is where we call Earth and like, hey, send more, or, oh my gosh, we screwed up and we need to buy a rocket, but hopefully that's not going to happen. And also, this is the resource uh, tree. And according to the game, this is kind of cool. Uh, the categories are pretty much the same. The biotech, engineering, robotics, physics, social, and breakthrough. I think this is uh, obtained by scanning the surface for anomalies. Uh, anomalies uh, you know what I mean, right? We don't have the explored uh, RC, so uh, that's going to happen later on. But the abilities or the research trees change a little bit here when it comes to what we could research from playthrough to playthrough. So quite neat, to be honest. Let me see what we have. We have uh, hydroscopic vaporators, which means even more moist, and we do like the moist. But do we want to get moisty? Maybe not, and that is what? New building fungal farm. 
Moisty Fungal. Moisty Fungal Engineering, a polymer factory and a fuel refinery. And rockets and shuttles requires less fuel. You know, this might be the way to go. Engineering, robotics, drone hubs, amplification and social is not really that needed because we don't we don't have any humans about. Yeah, let's go. We're gonna research this to begin with, the polymer factory and fuel refinery, and then we're gonna do rockets and shuttles requires less fuel. Because the plan, the big plan, is that this guy over here is gonna get refueled and sent back to Earth and then back again. Back to Earth and back again to Mars. That is the whole scheme of the whole thing. Yeah. But the thing is, now we need to prepare this planet for the humanoids to arrive. And uh, let's go into the build category, which is, I guess, kind of my favorite category. Let me just see it. Just so we zoom out a little bit, just to see the, the, the amazing landscape. We have infrastructure where it consists of dr drone hubs, research stations, sensor towers, and whatnot. We also have the power category, which is basically power. We have production, production buildings. We have life support buildings. We have storage. We have domes. Then we have homes, education, and research. Living quarters, playgrounds, nurseries, schools, and whatnot. Dome services, space bar, diners, open air gyms. And even a casino. What if there is going to be added more stuff to this once we progress in the game? Not really sure how this operates, but we will see. Then we have my favorite category, which is the decorations, obviously, because, you know, we have bushes, gardens, lakes, fountains, and whatnot. But we're not really there yet. Uh, I guess the main objective is to get some power in the beginning stages. So let's build up something. I'm going to be using. I believe we're going to be using the. Hmm. Let's just think about this. We have this over here, we have this over here. I guess we're gonna go large solar panels. That requires uh, four metals. That should not be a problem. How about the wind turbines? That is a cost of, I think, four concrete and machine parts, I believe. The downside of having this is it doesn't produce any power at night times. But I guess it is what it is. Uh, this might be a little bit of an overkill in the beginning stages. But uh, you know what? The thing is, we might die on episode 1, but at least we're gonna die with style. Oh no, holy crap, look at this. Oh, how amazing is that? Would I say fabulous? Yeah, pretty much. So they're collecting metal as well for the construction of the solar panels over here. And now everything, uh, everything involving like energy, for example, or water structures uh, or whatnot, needs to have uh, an infrastructure. We need power cables for basically the the electrical grid. We also need uh, pipes for everything else, like water and oxygen, which means there's a lot of pipe jobs coming out in this playthrough. Quite quite interesting. But let's go some power cables. And I'm thinking, like, should we just surround? Holy crap, uh, let's do, it's gonna be, you know what this is gonna be, it's gonna be like sea skylines all over again. Instead of roads, we're gonna be surrounding everything with, with this instead. But as long as it looks nice, everybody, as long as it looks nice. And then this maybe could be going to death later on somehow. Okay. Go big or go home, I would say, right? Should we do one more? I uh, don't know. Yeah, let's do one more solar panel, just because we can. And obviously, this is, this is kind of with the first time I played this game so there's not gonna be it's, it's gonna be it's gonna be an uphill battle uh, from time to time but I guess eventually we're gonna figure it out right would you guys help uh, we can do it we can totally make it happen so here on this side we're gonna build one of those concrete extractors and I'm thinking the same on this side but let's just speed it up a little bit let's see here is this guy done 18 or 30, he's doing his thing. Those little drones are doing their thing. That's amazing. We do have one solar panel up and running. Let me see, Universal Depot. Hmm, drones will stockpile all kinds of resources into a Universal Depot. Okay, but don't worry. We're gonna get that up and running as well, but I'm thinking a concrete extractor to begin with. Don't wanna be the guy, but I did uh, hear. A bang, a loud bang, and I can't really see it. Something happened, but I guess it's not really close by. Um, I'm thinking maybe we can even have two extractors on this tile, or this region. Because if I would put one here and one above, 
Let's see here. Okay, let's try this out. We're gonna put one just here. I guess I can do this and then take it down. <laughs> you know what? My OCD is gonna absolutely kill me when it comes to like the, the power cables and whatnot. And also my voice is a little bit of strange today mainly because i'm getting down with a cold there's so much snow where i live in sweden i've been out uh, shuffling snow uh, day in and day out and i think i've caught uh, a cold uh, it kind of sucks but hey now i'm in mars or I'm on mars and playing video games should we do some of those universal deposits yes let's do one let's do two and uh, is that the same size i think the metals ones were smaller which means i could squeeze down one here in the middle nice yeah i like this i like this quite a bit and then we can have buildings in between and whatnot what could we do that's gonna be up and running very shortly so let's wait until that is constructed this guy on the other hand can be unloading your resources on this little tile over here please do man i'm really happy we brought this guy as you can see now the the handy drones are going inside of the the spaceship and grabbing all the resources which we have inside and unloading them on those universal depots or depots over here. And the, 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 the fuel this needs to go back to Earth is 60. And fuel is obtained? How exactly? We did bring the fuel refinery. Produces fuel from water. And imagine if that was the case in real life. Holy crap. But it's not, so we need water. We do have the water deposit just here. So if we connect that up into the grid and everything's gonna be randy dandy perfect. Time will tell. How are we doing on this? If anybody building? Machine parts has arrived, but not the metals. This is what I mean. I love this game already. I do like this game already. I do like how it's kind of like... It's, it's a learning curve and it's gonna take a while, but like trying to figure out stuff in a new game it's absolutely brilliant but can we just speed this up so you guys build that quicker please because we need to have this operational but also let me see could i place one on the back i guess i can yeah 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 uh, it should work we just went connected so just a building sensor tower oh yeah about the sensor tower it is found in the first category and what this does is that it boosts the scanning speed on the sectors we've been um, well we kind of chosen before like if we would have a sensor tower this would be scanned much much faster all those tiles around so that is something we're gonna build eventually but we're not there yet because it's in the middle of the night uh, why don't we have any power oh yeah it's the middle of the night girls and uh, the solar panel <laughs> that kind of sucks a little bit but what to do, what to do? Let's extend that to that building. Will that be connected to that grid? Hopefully it will. Because then that looks really nice and that OCD is going to be much better. And this guy's still collecting over here. 15 out of 30. 7, 6 out of 14. Those guys are still like shuffling stuff back and forth from the spaceship. You know what we could do, however? We could maybe go into, into the wind turbines... We do have some stuff for it, but I'm just not like, I'm not sure if we should waste the stuff. I guess, ooh, it's up and running. The drone hub is a stationary command center that can control more drones than the RC rover. Okay. We will sector get to the... Uh, perfect. Did we find anything on this sector? No, we didn't. And then it just moves on, basically. So now we can select this one over here. So one, two, three, and four, and this is going to be the fifth one. Perfect. Waste rock. Your extractors produce waste rock as a byproduct. Okay, so that means we need to do storage and dumping site, as I understand it. I'm gonna put it down, I guess, just here. Did we? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think that is how it works. That is a sleek. And the thing about those, those over here is that you have the ability to turn them off uh, during different shifts of the day. So now as we only have the solar panels running, we can turn them off, for example, night times. So they don't consume any power. And the power is going to be spread to the different other buildings, which uh, are more vital during night times. And, and whatnot, and so on and so on. Are we done over here? Yes, we are. Almost. Please unload those. We could also do some power accumulator, which is a battery. Which is going to store some of the solar energy during uh, different times. Um... 
How expensive it is? Polymer concrete. Oh crap. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You might be holy crap, this guy is crazy. Yeah, yeah, pretty much. Pretty much is. I'm gonna I'm gonna stop some of them because I don't think we need that much batteries. Not in the beginning stages. Then we're gonna surround that beautifully and maybe even more make more power uh, solar panels. I'm not sure that's gonna be able to squeeze in, but we will see. Where do we put it down, however? Should we just do it over here? Just because we can? Yeah, yeah. Why not? There's room for it. Uh, do not operate during nighttime. Do not operate during nighttime. Thank you. Reloaded. Perfect. Go to the next one, which is over here. Okay, the batteries are done. They're a little bit deflated, I guess. Can somebody come over and erect the batteries? That would be great. Oh, this is neat. Oh, this tower is up as well. I'm wondering how much faster this is going to actually become. Boost scanning speed, especially for nearby sectors. Extends the advanced warning for disasters. Okay, that might be kind of, kind of useful. However, this sector does not really hold that much disasters, so I'm not sure about it. 9 out of 13. You go over here and mine then. How much how much metals do we have? Um, by the looks of it, quite a bit. We have 49 out of 80. So that should last us for a little bit. And what goes for power? How big is the wind turbines? Pretty much the same size as those. No. You know what? I think we're gonna do we're gonna do more solar panels. Not sure we can squeeze them in, however. Uh, yes we can. Boom, boom. Boom and bada beam. Yeah, this is maybe just too neatly laid out, but uh, I don't know. Like, no, we can't. Is this blocking this? Oh, this is gonna kill me. How do we do? Oh, I, I fixed it. Don't worry, I fixed it. Uh, let me see here. Which button B? Let's go to this and salvage. Salvage this part. Salvage this. Okay, this is gonna this is gonna be a little bit bad looking, but it's gonna work. I think. There we go. Compromises, everybody. Compromises. So there's going to be a lot of power for the for the moment. And as you can see, the batteries over here are getting a little bit erected. So that means... Hmm, hourly production. We're producing 40 power. And we only demand 12 in total for the moment. But obviously that's going to change. Because we're going to build so much more stuff uh, in the near future. So that will most definitely change. And what goes for this water source... What would be needed? Let me just zoom in a little bit. See them working when I'm in the menus. Um, I guess a water extractor, right? Extracts water from underground deposits. No production during cold waves. All extractors uh, contaminate nearby buildings with dust. Okay. Uh, there's not much building around, around here. So we could maybe... Let's see here. If I would take the power cable... Because I think you can build power cables and pipes at the same uh, thing. So, for example, if I would build that over here, then I would place the, the water extractor. No, maybe, maybe like this. Is that a thing? That's not a thing. That is a thing. But where's the pipes going to be coming from? Should we try it out? Indeed, we should. Okay. So that's going to be the water gathering system. Then we go to the pipes, and the pipes are risen a little bit above uh, sector scanned above the whole thing. I, let's just go crazy for testing purposes, everybody. What did we find, by the way, in the sector? Uh, did we find anything? Oh, there's more water sources. That is amazeballs. Okay, this was a great find. I'm not sure this is like the same for every single playthrough if you choose this spot on the map. Uh, you did see the quotas in the beginning, so in case you're like, oh my gosh, that was really nice. Well, pick them in the later stage. Uh, this guy over here, you go and unload the resources. I guess we could build that. But let's not. Let's not waste the, the, the resources. What is needed for this? We need concrete machine parts and tons of drones, which are doing exactly what? I guess gathering tons of concrete now, aren't you? We have 12 over 30 on this one. 7 over 30 on this one. 
I kind of want them to build. I think we should change the priority as well. Let's see here. Uh, priority on this guy, max. So hopefully those guys are going to go chop chop. And then once we get the water, we could maybe even um, get some fuel going. And maybe we can send this rocket back home. Not that we need it. But I mean, it's not needed here either. Come on. Chop chop. Anybody? Here we go. Yeah, it's um, it's 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 a base. It's it's something, everybody. Okay, give me a break. Can I do more? Not pipes. Can I do more power cables over here? For reasons unknown, I could. That would that would look really cool having this like in intersection. But let's not. You guys building this? Come on, concrete machine parts. Chop 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 it chop. We're not even building those. I guess per se not that needed. I guess what we would need. At the end of the day, we would need more drones. So that's gonna be, I think what this is, the drone hub. Also acts as, as a re we recharge uh, station for all the drones around here. So that might be really useful. What did we find on this sector? We found... I don't know what that is. We can always check it out, I guess. What is that? Underground deposit for rare met met metals. Cable Ooh. fault reported. Uh oh. Okay, stop it. Where is the? Oh, here it is. So how does this? Um... Losing six point four power each hour. Uh, is this going to be repaired by 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 the drones? <laughs> okay, the drone is charging, I believe. I just love how he's holding the little handlebars on the charging station. Take a look at this guy. Oh man, that is beautiful. How sweet isn't that? But, uh, can anybody... Can anybody come here and repair stuff? Because, uh... I would be more most grateful. I don't think we can change priority either. I mean, um, resign and perform maintenance. Uh, okay, maybe that is not how it operates. I guess, I guess we will figure it out. Oh no! Look at this. He's actually repairing it. Perfect. Uh, air production. Oxygen can be extracted from the atmosphere by moxie. Moxie. Since it's a crucial, since it's crucial for the survival of your future colonists, an oxygen tank for storage is highly recommended. Pipes are used to connect uh, all life support buildings. Ooh, I've seen the moxie somewhere about. It's here. Produces oxygen, no production during dust storms. Okay, so it just produces oxygen. And that's the oxygen tank. Okay, but we're not really there yet. We will, however, we will get there one day. Is this up and running? Uh, indeed, it is. Why is it so? Um, what is happening? Oh, you know what we could do? Look at this. We can do a water tower, maybe on the other side of it, somehow. Um, in a nice shape or manner, form. Sector scanned. Anomaly found. Ooh. Okay, so there's going to be a temporary water tower here. Hopefully that connects into the pipe system as well. Where would we find this anom anomaly? Oh yeah, we did. Just next to it. Man, look at that. There's a big deposit of... Uh, metals as well. Anomaly is just here. And there's more water. <laughs> this is such a great location. <laughs> Holy crap. Ah, uh, well, it's hard to say. Maybe it's kind of like super, super, super uh, common to find uh, areas like this, but I'm happy. It kind of feels like this is too far away from the, from the whole structure now, isn't it? Let's see. Let's salvage this before it's built. And can we move this guy closer to the whole building site? Uh, maybe like this? Yeah, that looks much closer. That's gonna be perfect because then the cable power cable can be going there and everything's gonna be randy dandy amazing. Uh, how is this doing? Oh, this guy's still repairing the, the, the breakage? 
Uh, Mr. Handy, you need to get a groove on. Th has this gotten more dirty? Has those guys been using it? It does kind of feel like it. Huh. How much of that is, is here? We have a deposit of 1,329 in total of the concrete. Well, that's going to last us forever. Can anybody chop chop water tower? And get that done as well. Because then I'm thinking, we did bring one of those fuel refineries from, from home. So we could maybe squeeze it down here. Kind of feels like it might be too tight of, of a fit here. But hey. Let's go. Pipes, can I? Hmm. Yeah, I'm not sure about this. I guess we can always demolish it later on. Maybe there's a fuel refinery down here of some type and whatnot. So the water tower is up, so we, that means that this building, uh, water saving, that this guy is pumping in water to this. And as soon as this is filled up, I guess we can pause the production on this. Because we don't really need the water as of yet. Besides maybe the fuel uh, for the space, uh, spaceship. Other than that, I don't think we need it. So they, they do get like dust covered. However, I'm thinking a little bit. Here, as you can see, like there is a little bit of blockage because of the pipe we've got going. Do they produce less power? That is the question. Our production five, 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 five. Okay, we have a lot of power. We have maybe even too much power. We have too much power to handle. Moisture evaporator. I want to do my um, fuel refinery just for testing purposes. I'm going to do it down here somewhere about. So I guess we could go like super more compact, but we get this whole surface of Mars for ourselves. I don't think we need to save space. It's going to be this way because there's pipe units on this side, right? Yeah. Perfect. No Doing it. Active research. Research complete. Ooh, okay, that means how much? So basically, that research did. So this spacecraft of ours only requires 40 fuel instead of 60. So that is definitely quite, quite uh, convenient for us. The next in the engineering is apartments. Man, that's not really needed. Allows clearing of the salvage and destroyed buildings. This is going to be super useful, but maybe let's go the fungal and moisty farm. Um, drone hubs are constructed with two additional drones, and the maximum of drones is increased by 80. You know what? I'm going to do this. I'm going to do robotics. Drone swarm. Explore AI. Robotics. Generates blah blah. For each explorer vehicle. I kind of would want to do that as well. Let's go a little bit of, of the robotics. Just for a moment. Just to see how that trees leads to us. Where that tree leads, I guess. And I'm thinking, let's just speed this up a little bit. Does this look terrible? I guess it might look terrible. It's it's a little bit messed up, but there's so much space to, to, to play stuff in. And yeah, okay, that also needs some power. I kind of totally forgot about that. We need the power in masses. So power cables go underneath here, and then we just extend them all the way to the far end. That means that this should have connection to power grid. As soon as that is built up, that is. Yeah, it might look a little bit uh, messed up, but it is what it is, I guess. Maintenance needed. Okay, I'm gonna do maintenance on this guy. That is gonna require one electronics, I guess. And how about those? They also need a maintenance. Control or left click for active all. Okay, so we can do all at once, but it's gonna be super expensive. Okay, let's do. But however, no, it's not that expensive because that requires only metal, and we have an abundance of that. So control click them all, and I think every single one here should be on the on the verge of being repaired. What else do we need in the beginning stages? We have the fuel refinery, so that's gonna be amazing. Let's just speed this up a little bit. I want to get my peeps up here, but the dome. We don't really have enough oxygen yet. Therefore, we need to move, make the moxie. I just, this, is, this is amazing, like how they just come in panic, flashing. <laughs> we need to recharge batteries. 
<laughs> it's kind of cool that they don't really run out of power. You would have thought they would run out of power uh, because of the distance they, the distances they are covering. Uh, you go and unload more of that here. Spank you, sir. Underground deposit of metals can be exploited via a metal extractor staffed by colonists. Okay, that's going to come in a later stage, Sector I guess. Scanned. Anomaly found. Holy crap, there's a lot of anomalies around. Anomaly. Uh, okay, let's just go like this, I guess. Yeah, this was a great region. We have so much resources around here. Not too shabby, I would say. Not too shabby. Now, let's see here. Are we producing... Daily production is predicted to 12 units of fuel. Hmm, this has not yet received any fuel. But this has not yet produced any fuel. Store fuel 1.5 out of 100. That's actually quite convenient as well, that this uh, stores the, the, the fuel. So the rockets could be going back and forth, back and forth. Hmm. Okay, look at this. So this guy has a fuel uh, barrel, goes up to the rocket, and that means 1 out of 40. 2 out of 40. I guess it's going to take a while until this is completed. But also, you know what this is? This is a little bit of shame, wasting all the, the usable uh, water which we have from, um, from this for fuel. So maybe what we should do is just get the moisty, the moist evaporators instead. Like, if I would build a moist evaporator just next to this, for testing purposes, we'll see what happens. I guess this is terribly wrong placed, uh, by the way. But hey, don't, don't go judging. I do want to build a Charlie Station. <laughs> okay, let's, let's build it here. Even the power cables get, uh, get all dirt covered. So now they can go recharge over here, for example. The moisty building is producing stuff as well. I guess it's water Keralis. Yes, it is. I'm like a kid in a candy store. It's quite amazing. How everything operates. There's so much new stuff. I mean, a completely new game. The best part of the game, just learning the basic, the basics and trying to figure out stuff. Uh, do we have more of those deposits? Yes. Okay, you go over here. Not technically sure why the, the, those guys do it. Can we prevent you from going mining? Hmm. Assign to target hub. Move, interact, perform maintenance, drop care, resource. I guess it doesn't matter, but I wish kind of they, they would kind of stay around here doing stuff in the, within the base instead. 740 on this Cable guy. Fault reported. Juano. Whereabouts here. Yeah, that's sector gonna... Scanned. That's definitely gonna be occurring uh, quite a bit. Let's see, which sector? <laughs> Holy crap, look at this. This is the best day of my life. No, it's not. Well, almost. Because it's kind of like... <laughs> this, this corner is just amazing. Yeah, we should not be having any trouble problem surviving. Everybody, I think this is going to do it for today's episode. What is going on over here? Storage space is full. Okay. You know what I'm going to do? Um, I'm going to temporarily turn you guys off. Because we don't really need that much concrete. So let's just turn them off. Not waste any sp uh, things. And we're going to call in maintenance for them. So they're going to be maintained uh, nicely. And it's going to be all perfect. 12 in fuel production. 8 out of 40. So we almost... Well, next episode we might send it back to Earth uh, to get some more resources. But other than that, everybody, hopefully you guys enjoyed episode 1 in this adventure. Uh, it's, it's tricky, don't get me wrong. It's gonna take a while to figure everything out. Therefore, it might be a little bit like, oh my gosh, what to do? Uh, episodes. But I think we've made uh, some nice progress in today's episode. Uh, yeah, we did. The base is up and running. Now we just need some oxygen. We would need more water, more fuel buildings, and I think in the next one we can get into building the, the domes even. Starting building a dome. 
and maybe calling for for humanoids to arrive. I guess we can do them over here somewhere about. That would be kind of cool. What is this? Oh, anomaly. Yeah, the RC Explorer is going to come in the next episode as well with the next spaceship. We're going to see what that is all about. But once again, thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Smash the like button if you guys did. And I'm Kiralis and I'm going to see you guys in the next episode of Surviving Mars. Let's just end on this epic shot like this. Man, look at that. We are alive and thriving. Well, it's a machine, but hey, it's always something, right? Bye, everybody.